Hey everyone, the recap and breakdown today will be episode 1 of Tulsa King. So sit back and enjoy. This series starts off in a prison cell, and how a man is being released today after a long 25 years. He gets picked up from a friend and we are introduced to Dwight Manfredi. He is also known as the General. The driver pulls up to a mansion and parks the car in the garage. Dwight opens up the door and sees all his long lost friends. It is revealed to us that they are part of a criminal empire. He shakes hands and sits on the table. We are introduced to the head and leader of the family, a man named The Rock. Second in charge of the operation is his son, Chicky. Dwight asks that he be immediately compensated for taking a fall for a murder and keeping his mouth shut for 25 years. He asks for a position on the table to which they say he will be flown out to Tulsa. He will be compensated a starting $5,000 weekly. He argues and says they are banishing him. One man gets heated up and is immediately knocked out. The Rock gets enraged and says that is all he is getting. Dwight then walks out. He boards a plane and is flown out to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Upon arriving at the airport a cab driver offers him assistance with his luggage. Dwight gives him his bag and they both jump into the cab. The driver then asks for a destination in which he was told any hotel. The driver then announces his name as Tyson. They drive by a marijuana store where Dwight asks him to pull over. He tells him to wait and awards him a lot of money. He gets down and walks into the store. The guard asks for his medical license in which he responds with, just looking around. He walks up to the counter and tells the man that he would like to speak to his manager. The man says he cannot leave the desk. So Dwight turns to the security guard and tells him to go find the boss. The guard then threatens and walks Dwight out. He walks towards the car, picks up a metal bottle, walks back in and chucks it at the guard's head. The manager and owner then walks out thinking it is a robbery. Dwight simply tells him that all he wants to do is see the accounting books. He asks for his name. The reply was Bodie. Dwight then gets up and forces the safe to be open. There is about half a million dollars inside. Dwight takes 20% and says that they are now partners. He will keep gangs and the law out of the way in return for 20%. He walks to his driver and hands him about 50,000 in cash. He also hands him a magazine and asks that a black navigator be bought. He also tells Tyson that he will give him 2,000 a week to be his driver. He tells him to come tomorrow with a collared shirt. He walks inside his room and starts unpacking his clothes. After he is done he walks up to the receptionist and asks that she call him a cab and in return awards her good money. He goes to the bar, a place named Bread 2 Buck. He walks in and sits on the table. He tells the bartender he'll have a shot and give two to the men beside him. He stays the rest of the night drinking. The next morning he is waiting for Tyson and his new navigator. Instead he sees an old car pulling up. Tyson comes out and tells Dwight that when he went to buy the car the man called him a crackhead and was going to call the police. Dwight was annoyed with how they treated Tyson so goes to the car dealership. He walks straight into the manager's office and greets the man. He says that it was rude and racist of them to think that Tyson was a crook. The man makes excuses so Dwight whacks him onto the ground. He continues laying into him and tells him that he will sell the car to Tyson for $50,000 cash. The man agrees and the navigator is seen leaving the dealership. They go to the super mall and just enjoy ice cream. Dwight tells Tyson to get the car ready and goes to wash up. A man sees Dwight and looks surprised. He eyes him out in astonishment and walks the other way. Dwight returns to the marijuana store. He gives Bodhi some security cameras and tells him to put them up. He walks into the office and asks Bodhi how much they made today in which the response was $5,000. He asks for the location of the marijuana supplier, he then tells Bodhi to keep up the good work. He tells Tyson that he wants a better hotel and to drop him off at the bar. After arriving he begins talking to the bartender, Mitch. From the tattoo on Mitch's arm, Dwight asks him how long he has been in jail for. Mitch replies with a long eight years. This is when a girl from behind walks up to Dwight and asks that he comes and joins her friends at the table. After a long night he ends up walking her out and putting his jacket over her. She asks that they go to his hotel. They had some fun with one another and begin conversing with each other. She says that she is currently going through a divorce. He tells her that he is 75 years old. She immediately gets up and puts her dress back on. She thanks him for his hospitality and walks out. The following day, the man at the mall is seen on a phone call. He sounds scared and asks the person if Dwight was released from prison. Meanwhile, the FBI and Tulsa are discussing operations for the day. He says that an ex-mafia lieutenant has arrived in Tulsa and puts his photo on the screen. The girl from the previous night looks and simply says, fuck me. Meanwhile, Dwight is seen counting and hiding his cash. He says that he has been banished, and that he will build himself from nothing and own Tulsa one day. If you enjoy content like this give me a like and a subscribe, goodbye, until next time.